The San Ysidro border crossing is back open tonight. A massive border patrol training exercise briefly shutting down part of it. Good evening and happy Thanksgiving. I'm Brian Schlonsky in for Steve Atkinson and I'm Lindsay Pena in for Kimberly Hunt. Now this all happened as hundreds of people affiliated with the migrant caravan were demonstrating nearby. Tenders of Border Jennifer Kastner is there live tracking new details. Jennifer, border officials won't confirm if the training exercise was in response to this demonstration. Lindsay, that's right. They will not confirm that. They will simply say this was a planned operational drill. Behind us, you can see the southbound lanes of traffic. Those were not affected by this exercise. It was over here in the northbound lanes that were affected this afternoon. Those cars are entering the U.S. and for about 15 minutes today, all of those lanes were shut down for this training drill. Newly released photos tonight from border officials show some of the hundreds of agents in full tactical and protective gear mobilizing Thanksgiving afternoon at the San Ysidro port of entry. As U.S. government choppers circled overhead, those on the ground guarded the northbound vehicle entry lanes, briefly halting all traffic. Meanwhile, 10 News and other witnesses heard a series of loud bangs coming from out of our vantage point. The roughly 15 minute long event was called a large scale operational readiness exercise, a planned drill that border officials said is part of their continuing enforcement efforts. They would not confirm whether the drill was held in response to the migrant caravan demonstration happening at the same time at the nearby pedestrian U.S. entry point. Brandon Varientos took video of the hundreds of demonstrators before he crossed into the U.S. So many people that they are protesting um, they, for, for what time they're going to cross, of, of if they're going to go to, to Canada or here, but they don't want to stay in Mexico. They're desperate, obviously. It rained last night. It rained where they were staying, so I think that makes it much more urgent for them. Social justice leader Pedro Rios does not believe the timing of the U.S. border training exercise was coincidental. Unfortunately, I think um, it's an overuse of power because there really isn't any real threat or significant threat from people who are waiting to turn themselves in for asylum purposes. And there are now more than 4,500 caravan migrants here in Tijuana. Reporting live tonight at the border, Jennifer Kastner, 10 News. Well, President Trump has given the thousands of troops at the border the OK to use lethal force against migrants, quote, if they have to. The president used similar tough talk about the caravan from Mar-a-Lago today during a call with troops. They're not good people. They're bad people. But large numbers of people are forming at our border. And I don't have to even ask you. I know what you want to do. You want to make sure that you know who we're letting in. And we're not letting in anybody. The president also threatened to shut down the entire southern border, saying that Mexico has lost control of the caravan on its side. And count on 10 news.